For this Toyota adventure, we're taking a road trip in the brand new 2023 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition. The RAV4 Hybrid takes you farther. Its advanced hybrid engine turns out 219 combined net horsepower, while electronic on-demand all-wheel drive provides plenty of grip no matter the conditions. And outside and in, the Woodland Edition makes an impression. With 18-inch bronze alloy wheels, Woodland all-weather floor mats, and available Softex trimmed seats, so you can ride in comfort no matter where the road takes you. And today it's taken me to Anacortes to enjoy some sweet treats. Few things inspire as much nostalgia and pure joy as ice cream. You cannot beat you know, the expression on people's faces when they come in and they get a cone of ice cream. At Lopez Island Creamery, each pint or scoop offers folks a delicious taste of the Northwest. We do everything the best we possibly can. So when it comes to ingredients, food safety, and then of course product quality, making everything by hand. Alex Tiemann is the president of Lopez Island Creamery. As the name implies, the company got its start on Lopez Island way back in 1982. Since then, it's grown in a big way and now occupies this 17,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility in Anacortes. While Lopez Island Creamery ice cream is a staple in grocery stores and restaurants all over the region, its ethos is largely unchanged. The team here is committed to using local ingredients, like cream from Edeline Dairy in Ferndale, and making each batch from scratch. We're adding you know, high butter fat, 16% cream. We add real cane sugar. You know, when we're making strawberry ice cream, blackberry ice cream, blueberry ice cream, we're blending them up right right there, it's, it's the real deal. And I think that adds uh, a lot to each, each scoop of ice cream you get. All right, Alex, we're in the factory now. Where are we in particular? This is the pasteurizing room. So this is where all the magic starts. Okay. We take in our dairy into these two tanks mm -hmm. here. We pump that dairy from these tanks into, this is called a vat pasteurizer. The cream goes in there, sugar, egg yolks, cocoa powder if we're doing a chocolate batch, and it all mixes in there. And we heat it up to a certain temperature, and, and that's kind of the start of our process. Once the ice cream base is ready, it's frozen in small batches. These are batch freezers. So each one does 10 gallons of ice cream about every six minutes. So it starts off, we put the cream in about 35 degrees, and it comes out about uh, plus 14 degrees. Or a semi-frozen, like soft serve. All right, this just came out? Just came out. Let's try Fresh it. Fresh as it gets. Oh yeah. I mean, if they weren't gonna put it in the freezer, I'd just take one of those home. <laughs> the semi-frozen stuff is great, but in order to finish the process, the ice cream is packed into tubs or pints and put in the blast freezer overnight, then shipped out. Now, if you're looking for the absolute freshest cone, you can visit the scoop shop here at the factory or the one on Lopez Island and choose from one of 21 different flavors. Okay, Alex, I'm looking at the menu here. A lot of options, a lot of different flavors to choose from. What's the go-to? My favorite this time of year is Bow Hill Blueberry. We developed the recipe with a farm just up north of us. It's really good. Oh, great. <laughs> it's so good. It's delicious. I mean, it does not get better than this. Any time of the year, awesome, but on a hot day like today, this is heaven. That wraps up another extremely tasty Toyota adventure.